Welcome back to Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. I'm Gwen Begley joining you this Friday evening as we put basketball aside and focus on what's ahead for what is sure to be another exciting boys volleyball season. Freedom and Northampton's boys squad faced off for the first time this year on Thursday in what was the second match of the season for each team after the Pates swept Bethlehem Catholic to start its campaign. The gay kids doing the same against Easton. Both groups entering the year with young squads and looking for a perfect start. Sarah Jones has the details from Freedom High School. Freedom would host their second in a six game home stint on Thursday facing Northampton as both teams look to tally their second wins of the season. In the first set, Daniel Soleimani would notch a kill, sparking a five point run to make it a 12 to six lead. And Aiden Willman would get the one on one matchup at the net, putting it away to get Freedom up by 10 and the group would take the set 25 to 21. The Pates would go on a roll in the second set and take that one handily, going on a six to two run down the stretch to take it 20 25 to 17, but Freedom not ready to go home yet. Starting the third set with a 7 to 3 lead as Kieran Live launches an attack out of the middle and capitalizes on the Freedom miscommunication. And the kids would make it an eight point lead with Leib and Landon Nickisher teaming up for the block. Freedom would try to make its way back in, but Nickisher would lead the way offensively for the K kids, tooling the block for one of his 20 kills in the contest as the group stays alive with the 25 to 22 set win. The two teams would stay close through the fourth until the home team would jump out to a three point lead with the hard angle shot from Wilman. But Northampton would catch back up as Logan Berger slams down the overpass to tie things at 24. And the visitors would outlast Freedom in the last rally of the set to force a fifth and final frame. Freedom would be the first to reach 10 points as Logan Shop gets one to hit the hardwood. And it would be Wilman getting the assist from Joey Braun and slamming the door for the 15 to 11 set win and the ultimate three Three to two victory. Uh, it took a lot of hard work, you know. We go to practice every day. We, well, we work hard. We have a lot of dedication. We take all the drills seriously. And that's pretty much it. I think what we really needed to do was just keep our consistency with our energy. There was just too much to where we would just kind of relax too much when we were ahead. We just needed to like really rev, like rev ourselves up and just keep putting the ball down. This Freedom Squad is still in the process of creating its own identity after graduating valuable senior leaders last season, but this year's group is already in a good position to surpass the accomplishments of last year, mostly because of the individual players preparation in the offseason. The majority of the team played club volleyball this winter and have come together ready to hit the ground running. So this year we're really focused on like just like not being a one man team and now we have like Lots of hitters. We have we have opposites. We have outsides. We have two strong middles. You know, I think the guys are doing a nice job. I I believe, and, I, and even my a couple of assistant coaches said, I really think we have the opportunity even before midseason to do a better job than last year. And last year did a really nice job. At Freedom High School, I'm Sierra Jones for the Service Electric Network. Freedom's balanced offense was a huge factor in last night's five set thriller as three different players had kills in double digits. A couple did the same for Freedom while Brad Chamberlain recorded 24 digs despite coming up just short. Both groups will be back in action tonight with Freedom taking on Southern Lehigh and Northampton going back home to host Pocono Mountain East. From the court to the softball diamond, an 